Brandon, a 69 to three victory here on homecoming over Waldorf. Can you just talk about this performance in front of that crowd and what that meant to you as a player? Um, I, I just thought it was a, a great chance for us to get out and show the home crowd, you know, what we could do. We're back to being an offense that could put up a lot of points and a shut down defense. So it was just exciting, man, to see all the guys, a lot of young guys get a chance to play. Coach took a lot of guys out the second half, and a lot of the young guys played a, a lot of that second half. So just seeing everybody get a chance to play, touch the ball, make a play was just fun, very fun. And for you personally, 44 yards and a touchdown. That touchdown, you actually made a terrific catch. You kind of mossed your defender. Can you just talk a little bit about that catch and what was going through your mind on that ball when you came down with that football? I mean, after uh, the interception that I had down here, I was real hungry for another ball. Uh, and I just knew on that play particular that I had a high chance of getting the ball and that Evan was going to throw me a, a jump ball, as he told me after the first uh, attempt we had down here. So I just went into that play knowing that I was going to get the ball and that I got to make a play for my quarterback. So. And then this weekend, you guys are going to Finley. Can you just talk about what you expect to see from them as a team as they've played you pretty tough here in the past few years? Yes, sir. Um, Finley's traditionally played fair is tough. We know that. Uh, but I think something that's just got us through is just fair is focusing on fair. So we don't really, it's not to be disrespectful, but we don't really care about what Finley's doing. We care about what we do every day, how we prepare for the game, and what energy we bring to the game. So. And speaking of that offense last week, you all scored 69 points. And how does it feel to be able to do that with uh, Malik on the sidelines? And you could essentially, Evans coming in, and you could, and as coach was talking, and you went one, two, three, four quarterbacks, and you could put in whoever, and you're still able to do that. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of our offense and uh, of our system. Coach, coach is great. Him and his son are great at finding out, you know, what a defense is trying to do and what they're going to give us, and we're going to take advantage of whatever they give us. So just having guys on the sideline, like you said, four different quarterbacks that all four bring something different, but all four can play at a high level is just an awesome feeling as a receiver because you know that no matter what, we're going to be good. So it's a great feeling to have that situation. And how are you guys, uh, And um, as obviously Malik is recovering, he's getting better, and how does it feel that, you know what, to get that extra quarterback in there and you do are going to be able to keep on posing more weapons and more threats as going forward? Oh, yeah, it's going to be great when we get Malik back. I mean, he's been our leader, uh, just more so from a uh, player-to-player leadership standpoint. Malik has been a great person for this team. He's the voice of our team in a lot of ways. Uh, so just having him back is going to make us better just because he's back around the, the team day to day from a football standpoint. Um, but then you put his talent consideration, you know, who who doesn't want a left hand quarterback that can throw and run the ball all around the yard. So we're going to be great when Leek gets back. But it's just now getting to the point of where we're primed at our best. So when he does come back, we're just still flowing even better. So. Hey, can I ask you this? How does it, how's the offense uh, obviously scored 69? And uh, coach was mentioning that, hey, you know what? You did uh, get those points because of a short field, but you must feel really good as far as all the receivers running games seem to be mixing up really well and uh, most importantly coming up with all those wins. Yeah, I think, I think what coach said is a big point to hit on. Our defense put us in a lot of great situations last weekend and gave us a chance to score quick. Putting us on this side of the 50 every time was a, was a big thing for us. Uh, but I just think really like you, you hit on, just everybody touching the ball. The running backs looked really good last week. The quarterbacks looked well. The receivers were catching the ball. So when you're playing offense like that, it's hard to stop a team like that. Are you glad you guys you don't have to go up against your own defense uh, week to week? Oh man, so I, I was gonna hit on that. I think uh, you asked Signy what makes us so special, and I think it's that. I think it's the fact that we're playing against the number one defense every day in practice. So as a receiver, I go against Sid, who to me is the best corner in the nation. So I go into the games now like, well, you're not better than Sid, so now you have fun trying to guard me because I've been going against him all week. So yeah, I think I think it's a, a blessing we don't have to play against our D line either every week. Uh, with the offensive group is is there something you see that makes you guys special something you think you guys do particularly well I, I just think it is is the fact that we're all ready to play at all times uh, coach can go four guys deep in his quarterback room you don't hear that a lot in college football uh, but we got four guys at the quarterback position that can play ball we got three four guys at the receiver positions in depth that can play so it's just I, I feel like we just have too much talent sometimes on offense <laughs> yeah, as, as someone that stood out as, as a high school quarterback do you look at these guys now and and, and kind of marvel at the way they play the position oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I just I love being just part of offense I'm an offensive guy so watching our quarterbacks play the way they play and like I said all of them having different abilities and bringing those abilities to the team in, in their own special way is a great thing to see Taking this act on the road, um, do you prefer to go on the road? Do you prefer playing at home? What, what's kind of your, your mindset when you go on the road for a game? Honestly, uh, 
just with these guys, man, I just love being around the guys. So whether we're home or away, I think sometimes the away trips are a little bit more fun because we're forced to be around each other the night before the game, whereas here we see each other for dinner and then we all kind of go our separate ways. So that, that aspect is fun, man. But just being around the guys is a great time. So wherever it's at, I love it. So. Thanks, Brandon. Good luck this weekend.